Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, September the 1st. Wow, September already. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Our satellite image this morning uh, features uh, some clouds left over from that rain that just wouldn't quit last night. I got 5,500s at my house and uh, it helped to delay some football games. Our surface weather pattern features a large high pressure system uh, off to our uh, east and northeast as well as a frontal system in the central U.S., but that frontal system won't be getting down here thanks to the upper air pattern, which features a large upper ridge as well. Our temperatures this morning, generally around the 70-degree mark. Uh, temperatures dropped down into the 70s with all the rain that occurred yesterday. Watch warning map, kind of uh, quiet this morning. We do have some uh, greens uh, there just to the uh, west of Lake Michigan over parts of Iowa and uh, Wisconsin, and those uh, are flash flood watches. Uh, the grays you see up in uh, northern Minnesota, those are uh, dense fog advisories. QPF over the next five days is not going to be too high. Uh, we do note a couple of things. One is there's a large center there up over Iowa and uh, the adjacent states there, and that's with the frontal system that's uh, going to be coming down through that area. And then we have a fairly substantial amount in the Gulf Coast area, thanks to a tropical uh, disturbance. Uh, we're not sure what it will be just yet. The HPC, the, uh, the uh, heavy precipitation outlook, uh, it features a slight risk there uh, from southern Lake Michigan across parts of uh, southern Iowa into extreme northeastern uh, Kansas and the Storm Prediction Center has uh, also a marginal risk for a very similar area there ahead of that frontal system for day one. For day two, we see it over primarily Iowa with just a marginal risk. And then for day three, it moves back into the uh, Dakotas. Tropics became busy overnight. We have two areas that we're uh, watching uh, this morning. Uh, the first is an area over Hispaniola. Uh, that is actually projected to move uh, up into uh, Florida and into the northern Gulf. So we'll be watching that carefully. Uh, Florence uh, made her debut this morning around uh, 5 a.m. or so. Uh, well, let's see, I guess that's uh, about 3 a.m. our time. And uh, expected to remain a tropical storm for the near future and also remain uh, well out in the Atlantic. By the way, September the 12th is the peak, the single day peak for hurricane season. All right, we're going to get into some 06Z GFS model runs this morning. We uh, had trouble getting some data, so we're only going to go out to the, uh, the edge of voodoo country. But uh, there's the upper ridge in place, and uh, we can also see the little disturbance over uh, Hispaniola down there. And uh, that's keeping us pretty much uh, with unsettled weather and uh, some scattered showers. I think, you know, probably isolated today more than anything else. And if there's any place that there will be showers, it's probably going to be over the uh, southwest counties of Alabama where the deepest moisture uh, is uh, um, being located right now. For Sunday, the ridge begins to show signs of some weakening as we have a bit of a trough over the, the Rockies there. And uh, so not much change in the way things move for us. And we see the uh, ridge there still on Monday over uh, the eastern uh, United States, over the mid-Atlantic states. And at the surface, uh, we note that uh, disturbance coming across South Florida. It's interesting that uh, the GFS and the European are basically treating it quite uh, differently here. Uh, the European considerably stronger with it. There's precipitable water, and uh, you can still see kind of a northeast to southwest gradient in moisture across the state. So once again, I think the better chances are going to be along the southern counties and southwestern counties. Tuesday, we see that little disturbance uh, kind of pushing against the upper ridge as it kind of rotates around that upper ridge. And uh, that uh, basically keeps a good deal of moisture along the Gulf Coast. And uh, for now, that's what we're forecasting is it will stay in that vicinity. Uh, but the, the European for Tuesday is considerably stronger uh, with that system. 
Um, right now, it looks like it's not going to see much in the way of favorable activity until it gets into the Gulf. Wednesday at midweek, we can see that that disturbance is uh, up into the middle Mississippi River Valley as it rotates around the upper ridge, uh, and uh, that gives a good deal more uh, chances for showers on Wednesday, I think. We'll probably be up into the scattered, uh, maybe even numerous category. Thursday, we're seeing signs of the ridge really beginning to uh, weaken, and uh, that's a good note, really. And uh, we see those signs continue on Friday and even into Saturday as a, a strong trough comes across there uh, in the uh, upper Mississippi River Valley. And that should drag a front into our area, and that will help to... Uh, um, you know, increase our chances for precipitation as we go into the weekend. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I'm sorry about the voodoo country, but having a little problem uh, receiving the graphics. So uh, we'll look at those tomorrow. I hope that you have a great day. Godspeed. Summer's just around the corner, and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models. So give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.